Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out who secretly wants to confess to you about their feelings and why. Today is the 28th of June 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 3.29 p.m. And Virgo, I'm giving away a free personal reading once a week for a lucky winner. To enter, hit like, subscribe, and comment below. I love Virgo. If you have commented before, you can do it again. It will increase your chance in winning. And winners will be announced on the community page weekly. All right, Virgo, let's get a reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo. He, who secretly wants to confess to Virgo? And why? Confess your feelings for Virgo and why? It's raining, Virgo. Over here in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. Oh, judgment. Okay. Virgo, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and this person. Some of the cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so this person could be a Pisces, could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, strong Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio can be any sign, and some air here as well, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But Virgo, hangman, judgment. Actually, this person really wants to confess to you their feelings for you. This is like um, judgment. It's like wanting to see you or wanting to see you again or could be recon reconciling with you. Reconciliation means, you know, may not always mean that it's somebody you've broken up with and then you reconcile it could also just be like seeing each other again okay so definitely strong aries energy the fool here they secretly want to confess to you that they think about you all the time think about starting like a new life with you or doing something new with you this person is possibly uh i think he or she either has a crush on you or has feelings for you or their feelings have become stronger over time the hangman ten of cups and one first the moon deep emotions right they secretly want <laughs> they secretly want a future with you this person but you know it hasn't come true yet because the ten of cups here is in one first to have start a family with you or just to be in a relationship with you marry you or taking the relationship to the next level just to be with you okay like there's something about the long-term future that they secretly may feel like they want that with you okay and again moon indicates secrets And the Empress here in one first. They may want to confess to you that they're kind of bothered about something here because the Queen of Wands also in one first. If you're embodying these two here, the Empress and the Queen of Wands in one first, if you recently have been absent or you haven't replied to the messages on time or you just went AWOL, <laughs> you just disappeared, or you're just not as nurturing as you used to be or as attentive as you used to be, they secretly want to confess to you that, you know, they aren't too happy about that. And if this person is acting, if it's vice versa, if this person has been acting like they don't care, it's nonchalant energy, like they're not really invested, not paying a lot of attention to you. I don't think it's true, Seven of Swords. I think that's a form of deception. Secretly, so I want to confess to you that they've been trying to ignore their feelings for you, okay? Run away from their feelings for you and the seven swords can be very manipulative as well so i do see maybe this is somebody who is like a runner or trying to escape their feelings for you 
This is why they're keeping their feelings a secret. Um, and the High Priestess here is in reverse. And I, I get a bit of this message here, Virgo. It's not for all of you. Especially if this person has someone else. They may want to confess to you their feelings where that they actually are losing feelings for somebody and gaining like more romantic feelings for you, okay? Perhaps secretly they want a new start with you. Perhaps with the moon here, maybe they also, maybe this person has like either their family disagree or that they actually have a family, children, married, or in another relationship. Um, so they're not sure if it's even possible for both of you to actually have like a future here, but they do have feelings for you, okay? Because there's one queen and then one empress in love first. Let's see more. Yeah, they may want to confess to you as well that they're getting bored with whoever they could be connecting with. They're dissatisfied and they're currently um, questioning their feelings for that person because now they have feelings for you. It's almost like feelings for you are stronger than for their person here. If this is someone who has somebody else, look at the Two of Pentacles, right? This is like a juggling um, energy where they could be juggling between like you and someone else. Like I, now the thing is they could be confused too. They may want to confess to you that they're confused, right? But they may never say these things to you because especially if they're hiding the fact that they have someone else. And for some of you, Virgo, you may have that an inkling that they may have feelings for someone else. It could be an ex, okay? Or it could be someone they are currently connected to. They are confused because they thought, the thing is, the Empress here is in love. They thought that they would always love that person forever. Like that was their person that... And then you came into the picture and they're surprised or confused rather, Seven of Cups, that they, they, like they stop loving that person and then start to have feelings for you. It's like they never thought they would feel that way. This, this um, spread reminds me of Virgo, you know that song from Taylor Swift? I'm not sure if you're a toilet. Taylor Swift fan, but there's this song called So High School because the fool is zero. So it's like from the beginning. This person may secretly want to confess to you, like you meet them feel like this. this you know that puppy love butterfly in your stomach, that kind of a feeling? They never thought that they would ever have the same type of feeling because it's it has happened before in the past and Maybe they had a really like the strongest feeling ever for someone else. Maybe someone else from the past or currently, but and they never thought that they would actually love someone this way again. Okay. Wow. And then they they wonder right with a hangman here and it a little bit uncomfortable with those feelings because they're like, how is this possible? Right, right next to some cups. Feelings from the past, whether it's you, for some of you, it's you, okay? Someone from your past that they may have, um, they thought they were over you. They thought it was done, over and done. But maybe recently, they start to have those feelings awaken again for you they they thought that maybe this is over and done like oh i'm over virgo but actually this person isn't over you yet that's one scenario another very specific scenario is that if if this is not someone from your past it could be someone relatively new in your life maybe within a year or so um 
or less. And they never thought that they would have these type of feelings for anyone else. You know, like the puppy love, when you first fall in love, you think this is the only person I'll be in love with for the rest of my life. I can never feel this way ever again. I can never ever love someone ever again. So they thought, okay. But then you came in the picture and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm reliving those feelings I used to have. Again, it could be someone from your past. Or someone new. This is why the Seven of Swords here, it's them thinking, whoa, this is kind of scary, right? Perhaps it didn't work out for them in the past, being so deeply in love with the moon here for someone, and then for it to not work out in the end. So that could be why they're like trying to avoid feeling this way and run away from their feelings. And again, they may have someone, another scenario is they may literally have someone that they might want to confess to you that they are losing feelings for, for their main person and that they're starting to grow these feelings for you. But they may be afraid to tell you because the moon can't get fear or to expose it because there might be some consequences um, attached to it with the High Priestess here in my verse. All right, Virgo, this is your reading. Hope it serves you well. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, all info is below. Subscribe anyways if you haven't and you've been here before many times. Uh, it's free to subscribe. And also, you guys know that I post your videos every single day, so they are very very updated this is the channel where you can get um, all new readings i don't uh, wait till like one week later the post or uh, anything like that as you guys know i mentioned the time and date all the time in the beginning of each reading so you're aware when i record uh, these videos um, but bear in mind the time zone, time difference. I'm in Malaysia, okay? And Virgo, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you want to be notified every time when I post your videos. And feel free to check out my main channel, Chelsea Love Tarot. Go over there and also subscribe to it because I go live on that channel. All right, take care. Virgo, love you. Bye.